Spark Out Girls is written, produced, and directed by Tyler Perry based on the 1975 play the same name written by Ansasaki Shane and stars a cast of many uh, good actors. And this is welcome to my Tyler Perry reviews. I have reviewed Midday Halloween back in 2016 with two other movies, 2016 Catch Up. I will put that in the playlist down below in the playlist and I will send the link at the end of the video but anyways this is my first in the series of my Tyler Perry reviews because I want to talk about a specific director Tyler Perry I will also talk about Quentin Tarantino as well but this movie I this is gonna be a very tough movie for me to talk about because this is Tyler Perry's most controversial movie. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people think it's in the middle, and some people say this movie's too depressing. But I, I will admit, this, as depressing as this movie is, I find a lot of enjoyment in this movie. Now, I don't care what the Rotten Tomatoes consensus or Rotten Tomatoes score is. I don't care about what most negative reviews said. This is a good movie. This is an entertaining film. I, I... But I do have some issues with this movie. This is not a, ma a masterpiece, but this is an underrated film from 2010. And let me let me let me get the good stuff out of the way. The score, Aaron Zygmunt's score, is just top notch. I love the score. I actually have the score on on my computer, and I listen to a couple of tracks from the score and it's just amazing my favorite tracks from the score is the main title La Donna in Viola which is the opera song, song that plays in this part when they go to the opera which Tyler Perry says that that that's his favorite part of making this movie was the doing the opera scene because and the song is very beautiful but but it's a very awesome song and the one part, one part which I will talk about, which the score is very, the, the the music in that track of the score is very intense and very, it's kind of like dramatic ish, action is as horror ish, but the score is really great. I love the score. The movie is shot very well. Alexander Guzinski did a great job with the cinematography. I have to handed to him because he knows how to shoot a really good movie. This movie looks beautiful from the opening to the end of the movie where all the girls are sitting at the rooftop. And just wow. The cinematography. Even the production design is great. The, mo the, it's, the movie was filmed on location in New York and it shows because you do see New York but you don't see like Times Square or anything. <laughs> but anyway, it's guess urban New York but, but New York is a great place but and what what are the way to shoot shoot this movie than New York I think Tyler Perry made a wise decision shooting the film location and another another big positive I have is the music the, no I already talked about the music I meant the acting the acting in this movie is great you got a lot of really great performances Jenny Jackson my, this is my favorite performance in this movie, her character. Ruby Goldberg is my second favorite. But I do admit Ruby Goldberg is kind of underused in this movie. But when you have the word and in front of your the actor's name, that tells you one, three, two things. One, you're going to have a small part. Two, you're going to get killed off early. Or three, you may have a big part, but just not that big. So, but it's okay. What can you do? Um, and also, like the other actors, Kimberly Elise, Tandy Newton, Anika Noe Rose, Tessa Thompson, Michael Ioli, of course. He's really good in here. Except at the some part, Amari Hardwick, Hill Harper as Donald, and the two kids were really good for the screen time they had before the unexpected demise. But but the kids are okay in real life. They're all right. They're still reading. But love the acting in this movie. The acting here is just great. And 
and the way the po the po he you he used the way Tyler Perry uses the poems is just re is really good. It's it's really good. He only used a couple of poems for the for each character, and it's pretty nice. My favorite poem in that he uses in this movie, I don't know. I don't know. There's so many different ones. Probably dark phrases at the beginning of the movie because it's all three to go all, all of the girl characters. It's not three. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. It's nine girl characters. So yeah, that's my favorite one. And Tyler Perry, he knows how he he directed this movie very well. And and yeah, when you have a great talented cast like this, saying all these poems. It is a part. It is a part. It is powerful. It's just I. Can, I can't tell. I can tell you. And I also like the soundtrack by various singers. I do like the score, but I do love the soundtrack too. And just though the sound and the the characters' development is is pretty cool for what each character has, but. Just because I, pro I'm not gonna spend this review praising this film because I do have a couple of negatives with this movie. My first negative is that the movie is two hours fourteen minutes. It's not, it doesn't feel overly long, but some of the poems kind of take a little too long. And, but it's it's just a minor nitpick with the poem thing. It it does it just at a certain point. But don't get me wrong, the all the movie is still good. I didn't feel like I was getting ready to fall asleep. I didn't feel bored. The movie is fast paced. Another negative I have is m all of the boy characters in this movie are jerks. They are, except for Don Donald, played by Hill Harbor. He was the only boy character that I like. The other three, Frank, Carl, and Bo Willie, especially. They're just complete jerks. Bo Willie is basically abusive to Crystal and her kids. And it does lead to a moment in this movie, which is definitely my least favorite part of this movie. When he takes both of his both of his kids and throws them out of a five story window. That is hard to sit through. I and I know and I know I know showing domestic violence is necessary, but not all the time, because seriously, me, as a guy who watches movies, violence against women and violence against kids, that can really take me out of the movie. I'm sorry, Tyler Perry. I can't go along with that. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry, but that's probably my least favorite thing about this movie, besides most of the characters, most of the boy characters being jerks. I, but luckily you don't see them fall, the two kids fall to their deaths. Cause it cuts to white before anything happens. Um, also, there, also, there is a, there is a scene where an Ikenoi Rose character is violated against her will. I am, that, that was also pretty hard to watch, but they intercut it with the opera scene, which, and you don't hear any screams or anything. You just hear the music. And I know people can't handle opera music. I I can tolerate the opera music just fine. Another and probably another least favorite thing about this movie is as much as she does a good job, I do admit it, for most of this movie, Tandy Newton is kind of a jerk. She's jerked to Ruby Glover, she's jerked to Tess Thompson, she's jerked to Felicia Shy. And but it does not until the very end of the movie where she starts to calm down and starts to become nice, more nicer. And but yeah, those are the issues I have and I do admit this is the only R rated film top here has only ever done, so it was kind of, I so it was kind of daring to see him do do R-rated film, but luckily it's his only R-rated film he's done. But I do like how this movie 
plays out from beginning to end, except for the scene where, with the kids in danger. I do not like that part of the movie, but... Overall, I think Four Color Girls is a really underrated film. It look, it's not a perfect movie. I do, like I said, I do have I I have my issues with it. I just talked about it, but I still think Four Color Girls is still a watchable film. But I do not recommend you show this to your five to ten year olds because some there is some the subject matter in this movie is very heavily implied and if any of you adults out there if you know the poems you know what's gonna happen if you have kids i'd rather you wait until they're at least a little older to watch this movie and go over the subject matter in it and so yeah that's that's my warning to parents but if you are a teenager or if you're somewhere 18 or something like me, this is our, you, you can, you can still watch this movie, but just know there are some parts in here that are very tough to sit through. And just, while there are some parts that are hard to sit through, there are still some good things in it. The score, the acting, and cinematography, the direction, the camera work, just, the costumes are even great as well, and I love the. And I, and my favorite part of this movie, another one of my favorite parts of this movie, is the opera scene. I do love the opera scene. That is a cool scene, cause it's basically opera. <laughs> and I'm a music guy, so yeah. But yeah, I I will have to give Four Color Girls an epic tastic. I'm giving it the epitastic rating because it's not really all that worth it for my seal of approval. But I still think this is a great movie. I definitely recommend it. But don't show but again, do not show this to to your kids who are five to ten. Let just wait to show them this at the older age. And just if you the, just ignore the Rotten Tomato score, ignore the negative reviews from critics and most Tyler Perry fans, and just have a good time. You just have a good time. You're gonna get a couple of laughs. You're gonna get a lot. Of, you're gonna you're gonna have some very sad moments because, like I said, this movie it is a very sad and depressing movie. But there is some moments of humor in this film. There. Is, there is some moments where I do laugh. So, yeah, that's my review for Color Girls. Let me know what you you guys think of for Color Girls down below. Have you seen it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's underrated? And did you think Tyler Perry did the, did the play justice? Because for me, in my opinion, I think he did. And if you like this video... You can you can click right here and we can all have a good laugh about time about it.